It's time to fire this thing up. What you're looking at is one of the aluminum bench seats that's inside this craft. Hey, well, good deal you made it. Hi, I'm John Graviscus. It's great to have you back aboard the boat with us. What I'm in is our model year 2009. This is a 16-foot aluminum craft, and I have four very hard aluminum bench seats in this boat, all right? And I kind of have a bad lower back, and what I would love is to have some type of padding on top of these seats. Okay. I also want to add some traction because when it gets wet, man, this gets a little slick. We're really going to be looking at a very cool product today to kind of address not only the tops of bench seats, but also you might have a deck that's spider cracked and you want a cosmetic makeover. Okay. This stuff is so easy to put down. This stuff is so comfortable to stand on or run the boat from. And man, wait until we show you how it's made. Now the name of the product is called Sea Deck, and it originated in the surf world. And we're going to learn all about the different colors and contours and all kinds of applications that you can use around your boats. But guess what? Before we can get into any of this stuff, shoot, you know the drill by now. You see, we need to work out a little trade-off. We've got to get all of you to spend the next 30 minutes with us as we're working right here along the beautiful water's edge. And then in exchange with, again, the help of a few of my very knowledgeable friends in the marine industry, we're all going to be pooling together in order to do our very best to let you in on a few more ways to make your boat ship shape. Ship Shape TV, North America's favorite boat improvement show, is being brought to you in part by Vetus America, where boat builders and pleasure boaters alike get everything marine. Vetus by Ray Marine, Marine Electronics, the G-Man Dig, and by the high-tech, low-emissions Evinrude E-Tech. Evinrude, spend more time on the water. Instead of traditional non-skid that is slippery, smelly, or just plain uncomfortable, your boat demands that you stick it with Sea Deck, the exceptionally comfortable EVA foam alternative with an easy peel and stick application. Fishermen, wakeboarders, sailors, scuba divers, or anyone else on board will love it because the wetter it gets, the more traction you get. Sea Deck's great for replacing smelly, worn carpet or covering up spider cracks and other surface imperfections, making your boat look like new. Comfort you need, traction you trust. Order today. Welcome back. This is a real working 28-acre boat yard slash boat building facility residing in Stewart, Florida. It's Ship Shape TV's home base. Ideally located, the complex is situated on the shores of the Okeechobee Waterway, which happens to connect the Atlantic Ocean to the Gulf of Mexico. Now once again, here's the founder and host of Ship Shape TV, John Graviscus. You're looking at my waterfront view here at the camp in the Adirondacks. Thanks, Buck. Where I would like to begin today is I want to learn a little bit more about a product that we could use for the seats in the Alumacraft called Sea Deck. And that leads us to our first expert guest. This is Chuck Yates. Hey, Chuck. John, how are you? I'm doing great. Chuck is not only one of the owners, but also the vice president of sales of a company down in Rockledge, Florida, and the product that you're making is Sea Deck. Correct. And please tell me the name of the company. High Perform is our parent company. Sea Deck is the product. Now, I was telling everybody that the Sea Deck is kind of, or has kind of been derived from the surf industry, and is that what High Perform is Correct. all about? Correct. High Perform manufactured extract for the last 18 years. We're one of the leading brands of surf traction. Okay. Now, surfboards are made of fiberglass. A lot of boats are made of fiberglass, and I really see the connection. You put a foam type of product onto the surfboard. You're now offering that same type of foam to go onto boat. And I want to kind of start there, Chuck. Talk to me about what type of foam this is, because it does kind of have a nice lot of cush to it. And 
Tell me about some of the characteristics of this particular phone. It's an EVA, ethyl vinyl acetate, that's specifically manufactured for the marine environment, which means it has UV inhibitors in it because the boats are going to be out there 24-7. Okay, what about for mold, for mildew, stains? Very good. We have microbial agents in it to keep it from turning black and green. Chuck, I see that we have these kind of what appears to be embossed dots over top of this sea deck. Is that what gives it traction? That enhances it, John. A EVA in itself is a very, very good non-skid. The micro embossed pattern that you see here really adds to that. Now, it rains here a lot in the Adirondacks, okay? And those aluminum bench seats, if they get wet, they get a little bit slick. If this gets wet, am I still gonna have traction? You're gonna have exceptional traction. It's actually better when it's wet than when it's dry. Very good when it's dry, exceptional when it's wet. If I were to go with this for the Alumacraft, how would I apply it to the bench seats? That's the easiest part of the whole deal. Simply peel it, stick it into place. We use a pressure sensitive adhesive that works very, very well on all surfaces, aluminum, wood, fiberglass. Let's talk a little bit about some older boats that might have fiberglass, gel coated, molded in non-skid. And if you ever get spider cracks in the non-skid, if you ever get dings, it's kind of challenging to mold some new gel-coated non-skid to match the original non-skid. Is anybody using this as an aesthetic cover over top of maybe forward decks or, or cockpit decking? Correct, John. You'll see a number of of uh, individuals will purchase sheet material that we have available. They'll determine how much they need, purchase the sheet material, cut it into shape with a razor knife, and install it. It really does wonders to make your boat look like new again. All right, I see that we have a couple of different color options here. This would be fantastic for maybe duck boats. Correct. Okay, camo mm -hmm. or something like that. How many different colors does it come in? We actually have nine different colors that it's available in. I was also thinking about teak, and that's expensive. I see that you have a teak-like product here. Can you kind of show it to us? Correct. This is our new faux teak that we have. What we actually do here, John, is we'll laminate two different uh, colors together. We'll do a brown over the top of a black, and then we'll actually route these caulk lines you see here, which aren't caulk lines, or rotted lines into it to give it the look that we have. Yeah, this does look like the black caulk that you would put in between the individual teak uh, boards. Mm -hmm. This is really, really cool. Now check this out. I see that we have a logo that's been cut into this. Can you do a lot of people's logos? Because I was thinking about maybe the ship shape logo. Sure, we can work with uh, a number of different methods to be able to do a logo into it. Logos range anywhere from the OEM logo to say an individual wants to put the name of his boat on there. All right, down in Florida, I have a really sweet 28 foot center console fishing boat. And I would really love to have some type of a bolster pad and my wheels are spinning here. Could I use Sea Deck as a bolster? Yes, sir. We do have a 20 millimeter material, same embossed pattern you see on the outside. Right. The only thing, it's a little bit thicker. Same peel and stick application. That's, no need to drill into that's your much boat. Much thicker. Okay. So, th so that, and this is, this is that foam. This is what's going to give you that cush. Okay. Up against your thighs or your knees for that bolster. Okay. And, and it's just peel and stick and you can put it in place. Correct. How much is Sea Deck? Ranges anywhere from four to five dollars for sheet material and three millimeter or five millimeter thickness up to custom work at somewhere in the neighborhood of twenty five to thirty dollars per square foot. What's this machine? All this, about? Is, this is our digitizer. This is where we actually can go out to your boat and digitize the pattern for the swim platform, the cockpit kit, the flying bridge, whatever we need to do. The seats on my Alumacraft. The seats on your Alumacraft. We can actually set this up outside the boat and work outside the boat if it's a relatively small boat or bring it inside the boat. We have about a 25 foot range with this wand right here that allows us to digitize compound curves, various areas. We can actually do undergunnel areas. We can do a lot of different things with this machine. Okay, now there's no way that you're gonna be able to get to everybody in North America and I'm telling you, I'm getting really excited about this product. And I know a lot of people at home are probably too. 
you can't get everywhere, Chuck. Do you have any type of a patterning kit where maybe people could kind of do this and send you a pattern? They could send us a pattern. We recommend that they purchase one of our uh, inexpensive $15 template kits. The template kit's going to allow them to digitize the swim platform with a sheet of mylar that they'll lay down over the top of it. That they can follow the, the existing non-skid pattern that's on there. They can lay it on a, on a forward bow area if they want to do that area. You name it, they can do it on it. Uh, they roll that template kit back up, mail it back to us. We then digitize it, make a CAD drawing, email them the CAD drawing. They verify that that's the right look that they want with the right logo, whatever they might want to do with it. And then we make the product to their specifications. What about for like the boat builders? Would this be some type of an added creature comfort to where maybe they could offer this to their customers? Do they call you and ask you to bring in the digitizing machine and, and, and use it as, as upsell materials? Sure, sure. We deal with a number of OEMs, whether they're relatively large, very large, to the very small. A lot of the large uh, manufacturers will be able to email us a CAD drawing of what they want to have made. If they don't have that capability, we can go to their facility, digitize the boat, do the same thing we would do with a customer, and then we have their product on file that we can make for them time and time and time again. Chuck. I know a lot of people are going to want to know about this stuff. You have to give us a resource to learn more about it, to learn about the templating process. What do you have? Go to our website, www.cdeck.com. That's S-E-A-D-E-K.com. Go to the blog. You'll be able to see hundreds of different applications of things we've done. Unbelievable. Thank you so much, Chuck. Hey, right now, we need to take a very short time out. But keep it right here because when we come back, we're changing locations on you. We're going to head down to their factory and we're going to show you firsthand how Seed Deck gets made. It'll blow you away. And we'll cover it right after this. Chip KTV will be back in a flash. Instead of traditional non-skid that is slippery, smelly, or just plain uncomfortable, your boat demands that you stick it with Sea Deck, the exceptionally comfortable EVA foam alternative with an easy peel and stick application. Fishermen, wakeboarders, sailors, scuba divers, or anyone else on board will love it because the wetter it gets, the more traction you get. Sea Deck's great for replacing smelly, worn carpet or covering up spider cracks and other surface imperfections, making your boat look like new. Comfort you need, traction you trust. Order today. Welcome back. You're tuned in to Ship Shape TV, America's favorite boat improvement show. John, this is the laminating process where we're combining two sheets of EVA material into one to start the, the process of manufacturing sea deck. We've changed locations on you. We're now in Rockledge, Florida. This is where they make sea deck, and we have the thrill of having the president of the company on the program. This is Kurt Wilson, and Kurt. You have a long history kind of, of making this foam, okay, from the surf industry. You brought it into boating. But Sea Deck apparently is a couple of different pieces of foam that are somehow laminated together. What do you do to the foam to get it to stick to one another? We contact cement them with a high strength contact ad adhesive. So you have to put this on both pieces of foam. Trowel it out, roll it out like traditional working with right. contact cement, and then they come together and they go into this laminator and, right. and you laminate the two together. Right. All right. Now, Chuck Yates in Tupper Lake was showing me that these samples of Sea Deck actually have like some type of a non skid. I'm not seeing it on this foam, right. and, and I want some non skid for the seats on my Aluma Well, that's the next step in the process after the laminating. It'll go into our embossing process, which through the use of heat and pressure, we're able to apply that microdot texture, as we call it, to your, your uh, product. It resembles very much, this is almost like a traditional molded in non-skid that a lot of boaters are very familiar with and comfortable with. So it's not just aesthetics, it's also giving you traction. Absolutely. Okay. Chuck was telling me, you kind of just stick this down, all right? I don't see any adhesive anywhere to where I can stick anything down. How do you, how do you get it to stick? Well, it's one of the great things about Sea Deck is that it's a peel and stick application. We use pressure sensitive adhesives to apply Sea Deck with. And is that again a laminating process or is that an embossing we process? We use an a laminating process to apply that PSA material to the EVA. 
up in Tupper Lake, your digitizer was brought to the set and literally my seats were digitized. What do you do with the information once you do have somebody's boat digitized? Uh, we bring the digitizer back here to the factory. It goes into the computer design department. The digitizer is connected to Ryan's CPU unit where that digitized information is downloaded into his design software, cleaned up and converted into cut patterns for our CNC equipment to use to make the product. And again, if you don't have the time or wherewithal to get to somebody's boat, or if you don't have the manufacturer's uh, you know, drawings or, or design or whatever, you can send out Mylar kits, people can trace out what they need on their swim platform, send it to you, you digitize it here, and, and you do the cutting process. At that stage, it's basically the same operation as what we're doing with your boat. So you import, you import the digitized information into your computer, and that's what gets it to talk to the cutting apparatus? Right. Could we, you show me some feedback getting cut? Sure. Lead the way. The reason we use the three-axis router is it gives us the kind of precision to execute a logo that, like you've seen here. So not only can you put in logos like, like the ship shape TV logo right here, you can also put in boat manufacturer's logos or maybe somebody has you know, a, a custom name for a boat. You can really dress up the look of the craft with the sea deck. Uh, just about anything you can think of. Okay, so this is what's called a CNC machine. It's linked to your computers to where your digital information, everything is communicating and we're getting a precise three-dimensional type of cut. Right. How, how do we cut the perimeter for the seat? Is that with the same machine? Do you have to use different bits? And, and I'm not asking you to give away anything proprietary here. Well, in, in this case, because this is a thick material and you're looking for cushioning, uh, we're going to put a nice tapered bevel around the perimeter of it so there's no trip hazards. Okay, so on my fishing skiff, if I'm to step from seat to seat to seat, right. you're going to keep me from having a toe stubble. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, you really have my mind kind of going on different project boats that we have and different applications for this sea deck, and I'd like to put it on several of my project boats. I'd like to help. But, Kurt, thank you so much for the look around. Thanks, John. Hey, we need to real quick take a very short time out, but keep it right here because when we come back, we're back in Tupper Lake. We're going to show you how easy it is to install the product called Sea Deck on the Alumacraft. We'll cover it right after this critical timeout. Don't go anywhere. Instead of traditional non skid that is slippery, smelly, or just plain uncomfortable, your boat demands that you stick it with Sea Deck, the exceptionally comfortable EVA foam alternative with an easy peel and stick application. Fishermen, wakeboarders, sailors, scuba divers, or anyone else on board will love it because the wetter it gets, the more traction you get. Sea Deck's great for replacing smelly, worn carpet or covering up spider cracks and other surface imperfections, making your boat look like new. Comfort you need, traction you trust. Order today. Welcome back aboard. Fishing for boat improvement? Well, you caught it. Right here at Ship Tape TV. Welcome back. Hey, just before the break, we were showing you how a product called Sea Deck gets made down in Florida. Well, we're now back here in upstate New York on my 16-foot Alumacraft, and we're going to show you how easy it is to install it. And again, we have Chuck Yates with us from Hyperform. And Chuck, we've already installed a couple of these pads. All right, these seat pads, but the boat was originally very, very dirty. There's a lot of mud, there's a lot of sand here in the Adirondacks. We had to kind of wash it out, but you wanted us to use a special chemical on the actual areas where we're going to be putting these pads on. What was the chemical and what's it for? Just simply use an ammonia-based window cleaner and a cotton cloth. Clean the uh, surface, remove any wax, oils, grease, sunscreen, things of that nature. We want to make sure that the adhesive on the back of these pads or deck material, okay, is going to really bond to the surface. Okay, Correct. you want to have a good bond. All right. So here we have a pad. It is not installed at all. Okay. And and let's show everybody in real time how easy it is to put it into place. First thing we want to do, John, is pull three, four inches of the backing away real simple application like this. Uh, we're going to square the pad on the deck. Let's flip it over and do that. 
Okay, how far do you want me to come off of my gusset, and how far are you coming off of yours? You are touching it. So it is right on top of it, and then we're squaring it on both the port side, or the bow side, and the starboard, uh, the uh, stern side here. Okay, it looks good. Okay, I'm going to lightly press it into place. I'm going to check right now. Your side is perfect. Real simple. I'm going to press real hard here, locking it down. I'm going to reach up underneath and pull the rest of the backing away. Chuck, how long will the adhesive last? John, you're looking at about five to seven years on your average life expectancy for the pads. Okay, let me get that paper out. Take that. If you wouldn't mind, pull that the rest no of the way problem. off. No problem. Got you covered. Okay. Now we're simply going to roll it into place here, making sure our alignment is just about dead right. Now, why have you beveled my seat pads on a 45? I don't know if you can see this, but it's definitely on a 45 instead of a traditional type of seat cushion, okay, where it's square. Trip hazard, John. Uh, traditional seat covers you see have a 40 or straight 90 degree cut. You go to step up on it, you're going to cook the bottom of it here. It's 45. It's real user friendly. Fantastic. Okay, and that's basically all there is to it. Chuck, I kind of threw a curveball into this whole project. Earlier in the week, we installed a fish finder on a swivel base, and I know you're cutting these pads to go from gusset to gusset. Can I kind of relieve this with a razor knife? Sure you can, John, but I suggest you let us take it back to the factory. We'll cut you something with 45 degree bevels on it. Looks like it belongs on Shipjet TV. You guys are nothing but first class. Thank you so much. Hey, right now we need to take our last time out of the day, but keep it right here because when we come back, we will be back in Florida, and I'm going to show you sea deck on a couple of our different other project boats. We want to get your wheels spinning, and we'll get into it right after this. The tool ship still open, so stick around. Shipshape TV will be back in a flash. Instead of traditional non-skid that is slippery, smelly, or just plain uncomfortable, your boat demands that you stick it with Sea Deck, the exceptionally comfortable EVA foam alternative with an easy peel and stick application. Fishermen, wakeboarders, sailors, scuba divers, or anyone else on board will love it because the wetter it gets, the more traction you get. Sea Deck's great for replacing smelly, worn carpet or covering up spider cracks and other surface imperfections, making your boat look like new. Comfort you need, traction you trust. Order today. That's right. Our project today is pretty much complete, which means we're now back on the water with John. Well, here we are out on the Atlantic Ocean. I'm trying to do a little bit of bottom fishing. I've got some squid and a little jig with the triple hook kind of set up. I'm trying to see if I get a snapper or something like that. And we have been talking about a product today called Sea Deck. And I've installed it on this boat. This is our 28-foot blue water project boat. And check it out. I have a bolster pad on both sides of the craft. And now if I get into a fish, I can lean into this bolster pad and oh my goodness, is it comfortable to the knee and the upper thigh. All right, this is absolutely so easy to put in. All right, also check out what I did right in front of my leaning post. I put it on the deck. This way when I'm standing up running the boat and you start bouncing on those waves, rather than my back taking all of those impacts, okay, this sea deck is really absorbing a lot of those blows. Okay, it's very, very comfortable to run the boat. I also put it on top of my center console and check out how clean that installation is. All right, absolutely a really, really cool product. Now, do you remember my 13 foot Boston Whaler project boat? Well, we put the sea deck on those benches. We also put three pieces up on the forward deck. And I gotta tell you, it looks really, really stunning. And we've got a couple of people that we need to thank who helped make today's show possible. First off, we need to thank Chuck Yates, as well as Jason Gardner and Kurt Wilson over there at High Perform. We also need to thank my guys. They worked very hard, but most importantly, we need to thank you. Hey, thanks so much for hanging out with us right here on the beautiful water's edge for the last half hour. But we've got to go. I want to do a little bit of fishing. But how about this? How about until we see each other again? Can you do yourself a favor? Can you get out there and make your boat ship shape? Of course you can. I'm John Graviscus. We'll see you next time. Closed captioning for Shipshape TV has been made possible by ShipshapeTV.com, the official website of boaters everywhere.
Instead of traditional non-skid that is slippery, smelly, or just plain uncomfortable, your boat demands that you stick it with Sea Deck, the exceptionally comfortable EVA foam alternative with an easy peel and stick application. Fishermen, wakeboarders, sailors, scuba divers, or anyone else on board will love it because the wetter it gets, the more traction you get. Sea Deck's great for replacing smelly, worn carpet or covering up spider cracks and other surface imperfections, making your boat look like new. Comfort you need, traction you trust. Order today.